Good morning everyone, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas and welcome to a visit with myself and Hoya species UT-033. This is a Hoya that I've been trying to flower for going on five years. Tried everything under the sun to get it to flower, I've finally done it, I'm on top of the world. This is another one of those um, Hoyas that I've had for a long, long time and I've been able to flower a number of them recently and I attribute it all to using um, RO water or rain water uh, because I think the hardness in the water inhibits some of these Hoyas from flowering. It's the only thing I can attribute it to other than it just needs to get to be five years of age in order to, to flower. Um, never put on a pentacle until a few months after I started using RO water and now this thing is actually I just noticed another pentacle as I'm here talking to you um, you got a pentacle with buds here here and then up in there there is a um, you can see that there is another pentacle it's just it just blows my mind because I've been looking at this thing every day for five years never finding a pentacle this is the last Hoya that I am growing in semi hydro you can see it's growing in hydroton it's in a huge container of hydroton tried growing it in soil and it failed on me so I put it in hydroton probably about two years ago. Grew really well, but it still wouldn't flower until I started using the, the RO water. Let's take a close look at the, at the flowers. They're outstandingly beautiful. They're a lime green with uh, red and white corona. Hopefully it comes out in the video just how beautiful they are. And they smell absolutely divine perfumes the whole basement once again look at that it's just it's just absolutely wonderful <laughs> I guess it was worth a five-year wait to get these flowers and look at the leaves on this plant look at that coloration is that outstanding it turned out to be an unbelievable hoya I can't tell you anything about UT 033 as far as where it comes from but just just a fabulous, fabulous Hoya, and I am on top of the world. I pulled it off. I got this one to flower. There aren't a lot of photos of it uh, flowering online, and I think that's because it's just so darn hard to get it to flower. Hey, it's Doug from Vermont Hoyas. I'm back one more time with Hoya Species UT033, and after five years with no flowers, this plant has finally uh, decided to make up for lost time it has gone crazy as you can see it's just covered in buds and flowers it smells um, faintly fruity very perfumey just a lovely scent to this Hoya I just wanted to show it um, after I flowered it for the first time it's just just amazing so that's it, and um, I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips. Thanks for visiting again with myself and Hoya UT. Zero, three, three.